I'm going to start with a sore subject. Do we have your bag? Did we find your bag? Did it get here? It's not here yet, but um, I did talk to uh, some good people, my sister, and she knows some people, and uh, from what I'm told, they have put my bag on a plane, and at this, as we speak, it should be on the ground at the airport, so I need to talk to the right people to get that bag here. How does that affect your fight week? Big time, man. All my gear, all my stuff is in there. You know, I haven't been able to hook up my PlayStation or anything like that. I haven't, you know, done any, you know, have my yoga video. I hadn't been able to do any of that. Um, you know, but, you know, life goes on. We get, we do what we got to do. You know, we make the, uh, the adjustments we have to, and uh, I'm, still been, I'm still getting my training in, still getting my work in. So uh, it is what it is. So what adjustments have you made to still be able to get your work in and prepare for a big fight this weekend? Borrowing gear, you know, drying out my sweaty clothes and then re-wearing them, you know, because I'm not going to pay somebody $20 to watch three articles of clothing. So, um, again, it is what it is. And uh, I don't, you know, I'm going to get to Saturday. I'm going to be ready for Saturday. And that's the ultimate goal, be ready for when I step in the octagon. You know, my weight's going to be on point. My weight is on point. Uh, I feel good, you know, I look good, and uh, I'm going to do good. You mentioned the weight cut, just your second fight at middleweight. You started in the UFC as a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. How did the second time dropping to 185 compare to the first time you did it in advance of the David Branch fight? Um, well, the first one was, was super easy. I was already at 185, like, the day before I had to weigh in. Um, well, the day before, the day before I have to cut. So what was that, Wednesday? Mm -hmm. I was, you know, hitting 135, 185, you know, just hitting pads and working out. Um, not so much this time. I think I put on a little bit more muscle, and I'm going to be a little bit heavier, but I sweat profusely, very easily, and the weight's going to come off. You know, I'll suffer a little bit, you know, only to be rewarded in the end. So what's the ideal next 36, 48 hours look like, aside from finally getting your stuff here? Um... You know, when I get my bag here, I don't even think I'm going to open the bag up. There's really no point at this point in time. But uh, get a workout in, you know, eat some food, uh, drink water up until it's time and stop to drink water and uh, get to cutting weight. And then the day after that, you know, all the fun start on the, the fun parts, you know, early weigh-ins. I get to eat and drink again. That's going to be, that's always awesome. That's like one of the best parts of, uh, that's the only best part of weight cutting, I guess, eating and drinking afterwards. Um, you know, ceremonial weigh-ins. I get to square off with the man again on national TV in front of everybody. That's going to be awesome. You know, I'm going to love that. And, uh, you know, come home, uh, rest, maybe get some pad work in. We'll get some, definitely get some pad work in. And, uh, you know, get ready for Saturday. Last question for me. How do you prepare for being the non-Brazilian fighting a Brazilian legend in Brazil and all the crowd reaction, the Uvai Mohair chance and, and all of that that you're going to face Saturday night? I'm not going to face any other chance, you know. Rolls right off of my back like, a, a, what is it, water on a duck, you know. Um, so, um, you know, fans are going to do what the fans do, and I'm going to do what I got to do. So I'm not here to fight fans. I'm not, I'm not even here to interact with the fans. I don't have to interact with the fans. They're, um, at any point in time, I can just remove them from my from my view, from my vision, from my world. I have complete control of what's going on around me, and uh, you know, I'm unfazed whatsoever. If anything, I'll probably walk out to them smiling, you know, reaching up for hand slaps and not getting any, you know, left hanging by millions of people, which will be fine too. That'll probably be funny, and uh, but my music is going to be playing. I'm walking out to No Limit Soldier by True. And uh, that, it give me, it's been getting me pretty pumped. So uh, I'm ready to go out there and show the world what kind of soldier I am. Jared, thanks. You're welcome. Appreciate it, man. All the best.